This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, uh, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, just now I have received an error from one of my student and uh, he's just a beginner. Uh, so I thought of to record a video itself on that. Now here, if you talk about uh, this error, uh, this is just a basic error itself. Just let's have a look on this error guys. This is related to number eight and all. And uh, this is just a basic error. But again, uh, if you talk about the people, everybody are not having same level, of course, uh, since he's a beginner. So now he's unable to understand, uh, you know, where is the, what is the solution for this one. Now in company code, I have just, uh, instead of comp particular company code, I have just given XXS. So company code, the number range is missing. Number range XX means it could be anything 0, 01, 0, 02, 15, 16 is missing for the year 2020, 2021, 25 whatever the financial year is there, right? And the message number I have given. So this is the error which has taken place. Now, what is the solution? So solution is, first of all, we'll have to find out, first of all, uh, we'll do one thing, which transaction he is performing. So transaction, which, which transaction in the sense, like what transaction he is trying to post. So he is doing, he is posting a customer invoice. So now here, I have just also done the same thing. I'm also going to post a customer invoice for the same company code. Give an amount here and give your serial code and here also the same amount. And the moment you press enter, look at here, the number is related. Error is there. So what is the error, guys? In company code TM11, the number range 15 is missing for the year 2019. Okay, so here number range 15. So guys, whichever the number range related errors are there, uh, this is related to your document type. So first of all, what you have to find out in this transactions, what is your document type? Your document type is DR. It means this error is related to which document type, guys? DR document type. Okay, how many of you know that uh, document type controls the number range? I think most of you might be knowing this. Uh, I'm talking about, uh, I'm addressing the beginners only. So guys, document type controls the number range also. Now here, this error is related to number range. This error is related to number range. Why? Because whenever we are going to post a transaction, then while posting the transactions, what will happen? System is going to system is going to generate a document number. But how system is going to trigger the document number, guys? With the help of document type itself. Now let's have a look on this. Uh, what to say? Uh, solution here. So in company code, this one number range 15 is missing. So number range 15 is missing, okay? And I just said like this error is associated with which are which document type? DR document types. So we'll do one thing. What is the transaction code, guys, for document type OBA7? Use OBA7. And let's have a look on DR document type here. So look at here, the number range 15 has been assigned here, okay? If you Check your number range, like what number range has been created for your company code. So give your TM11 and click on interval, guys. So look at here, 0, 1, 16, and 19. These are the range which has been created. So what is the solution, guys? The solution is whatever number range we have created, those number range, that number range can be assigned here. Click on back button. Either you can assign, let's suppose 0, 1. This number range we have created. And if you are going to save it, Okay, then what will happen? Come back here. Come back here. And uh, again, this error is going to take place. So you have to uh, refresh the screen. How to refresh? Slash n followed by your transaction code. And then, then if you're going to give the details, easily the transaction is going to be posted. So here 500 also, press enter and you will be able to post the transactions. Look at your system is generated a document number 1033, right? This is the document number. So what is happening? How system is going to trigger the document type document number guys? Whenever you post a transactions, the transaction is getting posted against a particular document type. Let's suppose system has triggered the document type DR, right? And when system is checking in background against DR, then what system found? If you have a look on the error, system found the number range was 15. But if system is going to search the number range 15 against your company code TM11, what system found, guys? System found 
there is no any number range created with 15 look at here 0 1 16 and 19 right so that is why the system was throwing error the moment from 15 i have changed from 15 i have changed what from 15 i have changed 0 1 from 15 i have changed 0 1 so once i have changed this 0 1 once again the same thing is going to be followed by system while posting the transaction system is going to find out the document type and from document type what system has triggered system has triggered your number range system found it's 01 then system is going to check in your company code also that against cm 11 01 is there or not and system found that yes 01 is there which has been created here and from this range itself system is going to generate a particular document now which document number is supposed to be generated so of course this nr status number in status is there based on that system is going to number is status 1033 it means till this much document number has been posted if you are going to post the next number the next document then what will be the next number guys so 1033 plus 1 so 1034 will be the next document number this is what the logic behind number range status so what is happening guys generally in which cases such errors are appearing let's suppose you guys are using online server for the practice and all so in that server multiple people are there using the same server multiple people are doing the practice right and if you talk for document type this is a client level setting this is a client level setting now let's suppose somebody has created somebody has created his own number range and he has given the range number uh, what to say number range code 15 so what that guy is going to do whenever he is going to post the transactions he had changed the number range here 15 and saved it so once it has been saved by a different person that person has created 15 whatever the number range against 15 he has created a range for his own company code but document type is a client level setting one guy has changed this setting and look at here impact is there on everybody whoever is going to post the transactions provided if number range 15 is not set up for your company code so two solutions are there two solutions are there if somebody has created 15 then what will happen guys that guy whenever he is going to post the transactions or she is going to post the transactions that guy is also going to face the error if if different number range we have assigned like 01 then that guy is also going to change this number range 15 always and then he is going to post the transactions right and we are having 01 so what will happen we have to change our 01 that guy is going to change to 15 right this is so what will happen better solution the solution is it's, it's either you have to create 15 or you have to maintain 01 if you want to create 15 in that case also system will not throw any error so what will happen guys in a single line if you talk about the solutions whenever number range related errors are take, taking place guys whenever number range related just let me come back so whenever number range related errors are taking place look at your 15 i have saved it right if you give your like once again this vendor number and press enter here itself you'll be uh sorry 500 and give okay now since once again you have to use because just now we have made the changes right now press enter you'll be having this error so whenever number range related errors in company code tm11 number range 15 is missing so you have to check against which document type you are posting the transactions so go to oba7 oba7 transaction code here here we are in oba7 let me make it okay so we are in oba7 and here you have to search dr document type so against dr what is happening guys somebody has changed the number range since our number range is 0, 1, 15, whatever you have created so either you have to change your number range right from 15 you have to change it to 01 or else you also need to create a new number range which is having a code called 15 itself you also have to create a new number range which is having let's suppose i'm going to give 4002 4999 okay and save it so we have also created a new number range 15 okay so if you're going to set up this then, then what is happening then also in that case also you won't be having error look at here now error is gone so number and error means again i always have to check your number what to say document type 
and inside of document type you have to change which number range code has been given and then you have to find out for your company code whichever code you have created better to assign that code itself against your document type save that settings come and perform your testing this is what the solution about this error